before I stick my hand down there, I want to make sure the rest of it ain't laying around here. But. Starting to get hot. Come here, come here, come on. Right there. Well, there we go. It's getting nice and hot now. So that was the one match fire. I should have used my strike anywhere. They're a little bit smaller match and it makes it a little bit tougher. But my strike anywhere are inside the handle of my hollow handle knife and my trade. And, uh, don't really want to have to whoop them out because they're around the fishing kit or inside of a thing that the fishing line is wrapped around and might be a pain in the ass to get them back in there. Oh, nice. You hear it? All right. Get it up a little bit bigger. Then I got to go uh, peel the hide off of that cotton mouth. I actually haven't um, built like a campfire or cooking fire or anything in a long time. I'm, almost every time I'm out in the woods, I'm like working and burning brush and stuff. So I'm burning like big piles of brush. And I, I haven't actually practiced this stuff in a long time. Really need to. Oh, oop, oop, oop. That's getting kind of hot. There's no danger of this fire going anywhere. Everything's around me is green except for this minor amount of uh, leaf litter. And a lot of my really dry wood here is semi-rotten and, and doesn't uh, is not going to burn very long. That's just part of being here in this environment. All right, while that burns, or burns down a little bit, I'm gonna we'll, uh, get over here and, and clean, this, uh, clean this piece of cotton mouth. You guys can see the fresh beaver chew sticks around here. I actually have a game camera watching this place last night just to see if he comes back up. My uh, goal is to catch them, but right now, if they're raising young, I don't really want to catch them. So uh, let them raise their young and catch them later, unless they start damming up an area that's going to cause a problem. Oh, if I start here, I'll work my way down. It's been a long time since I skinned a snake. 
Oh, I only killed a few million of them, but. There we go. Just used a knife enough to get me a, uh, enough of the hide off cleanly to... Well, actually, fortunately this straight is pretty sharp. And... Don't have to have a... Don't have to hold it with my teeth yet. I'm not fond of holding dead snakes with my teeth. I'm not Bear grills. Usually a cottonmouth has a good musky uh, odor to it, but... uh. I don't smell it on this one. That was yuck. Okay. Now, I were in a hard up survival situation. No, I wouldn't eat this, but I would uh, use as much of it as I could for fish bait on my hooks. You know, in this case, uh, we're gonna feed the bass that are in here and the catfish. Everything eats. Anybody want that? I didn't think so. Mr. Coon or something will come around here tonight and, and find that. He'll get him a meal. <clears throat> Shit. Oh. It actually fits in the bottom of the cup. What I'm going to do is boil this thing for 10 minutes, change the water, and boil it 10 more minutes, and then I'm gonna roast it. That's the plan. Uh, when I was a kid, back in the 80s, and I was studying up on survival and stuff, that was the technique that I had read how to do, and I've never done it. I said, because I've never, this is my first actually snake eating, because you know what, I much prefer Taco Bell. Screw eating cotton mouse. But you know what? I'm going to try it. Just for you guys. And we're just going to, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of meat there anyway. As big as that snake was, there's just not a lot of meat on him. If I was smart, I'd be using that for fish bait too and catching me some fish. But um, whatever, we're going to try it. So <clears throat> everybody that I've seen on YouTube and in all the survival manuals, they just take the snake and roast it. But when I was kidding, I read these survival manuals that said... Um, said that snake meat's kind of oily and you should boil it for 10 minutes and change the water and boil it 10 more minutes and then roast it. And I said, hmm, I don't know. I'm, so I'm tempted to do like either way, but maybe that'll be on the next uh, snake. Um, on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and boil it up like that twice because I haven't seen anybody else do it on YouTube and we'll see how it turns out. The fire had burned down quite a bit. I had to uh, add some and uh, 
Ooh. The snake twisted himself up to where most of them's above the water, so I couldn't get away with using as little bit of water as I wanted to, which was the goal. But it's been on there a few minutes yet. It hadn't started to boil, but it's getting hot. So it'll start boiling here in a minute. Now I'm gonna go uh, see what I can do about trying to catch a fish, but I gotta keep an eye on this too. And I don't want it to go anywhere. You know, that thing might hop out and run off. Now I know it's not smart to have this actually in the fire and precariously balanced, but uh, this is what happens when you're in a hurry. I could have set it beside the fire or in the coals or something later and boiled it. It makes me wish I had the longer version of my knife because uh, my hand gets hot when I put this in the handle to move it. See? I'm cooking my hand. Uh, 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 uh. Ouch. Yep. Definitely gets hot. And most of the water is already boiled out and so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit to it and try to nestle it back in here in a nice safe spot. And when that boils down, we'll try roasting it. How about this spot? That looks looks like it might be all right there for a little bit. I would have to stand in the smoke. So I'm gonna put my yo-yo on here. I have a little loop of string running through it. I've been meaning to change all mine out to like copper wire because that would last forever and it would allow me to affix it better to just about anything. This is a piece of fox that I skinned last night. This is like part of his hind leg. So I'm gonna cut us off a little bit of fox to use as bait. Eh. Lay that right there. Where'd it go? There you go. I know I could have used a piece of a cat and caught catfish, but I didn't skin any cats lately. I'll just uh, make do with what I got. Get on there. Uh, this hook is only a number six, plain old, plain type. So, I'll see if I can do this with this microphone tied to me. But generally, I just stab it into the bank somewhere. Shit. Not the easiest thing to get set up without snagging on something or getting it to fire off prematurely. No sex jokes there, please. Unless I make them. Alright, let's try that. That looks... I'm not super experienced with yo-yos, but, you know, I actually have better luck with them than I do trying to actually fish because I suck at fishing. Ooh. I don't know how deep I got that in there, but if something takes my stick, he ain't going far. There's already a bass down there. Jeez, I need to be able to move the camera over here, but there's already like a six inch long bass down there playing with it. No, 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 it's a brim. Oh, got him, look at that. You guys see that? Shit. Look here. All right, I'm gonna get this guy out. Look, I think I caught one of these the other day when I was down here. We get this guy off of here and throw him back. I don't, I don't, we're eating snake today. I'm not gonna eat the fish. So don't throw away your fox carcasses, man. Fish bait. Holy shit. Boy, he swam like 10 feet in the first second he hit the water. Made my hands smell like fish. Let's get back to our snake cooking. I'll deal with this later.
Hmm. Ouch. Well, he's still hot. God dang it. <sighs> Go that way. You know, I'm thinking it's done, or at least done enough. But yeah, it, it looks done. It's pretty thin meat, shouldn't take long to cook, and it did boil before this. So I'm gonna pull it off of here, and or pull the stick out of here, and let it cool enough to try it. If it turns out good, if it turns out good, maybe there's a market for this. Maybe we can like pre-cook it, put it into like an entree type meal, and put it into supermarkets as a microwave moccasin or something like that. Hmm. All right, let's get it over here and find a place to keep the uh, keep the critters off of it while it cools. All right, I forgot to hit record, and I just sat here and pulled this thing apart looking for uh, edible meat on there, and there's tiny, tiny little amounts of edible meat on this uh, cottonmouth. Mostly it's rib, and there's a little bit between the ribs, and it's like, Man, this is not worth messing with. Um, I'm going to lump snakes, these Alabama snakes, the small American snakes, in with squirrels and uh, rats and other really small game that don't have a lot of meat on them. Has not been, there's not enough calories there for you to pursue them. This one was laying there and I was gonna kill it anyway because no matter what y'all say, um, those things are everywhere down here and you know people that haven't you know we're out here all the time we have to deal with them we have to walk where they are we don't we don't uh generally want them right around our houses and right around our feet so there's not much here let's see I mean, you know, there's just really there's just not any meat on these things and this was a good size cotton mouth you gotta keep that in mind however you saw how easy it was to catch a fish using a little piece of fox meat. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, you can do that with just about any kind of meat. These fishies here, they love meat. It's their uh, favorite thing. So, ain't no vegetarian fish, not in there. This, this kind of a wasted effort as far as like if you were in a survival situation, but if you're in a, like the Florida Evergra Everglades or you're in South America and there's a 300 pound python, yeah, there's meat on there. You're gonna eat good. I don't have a 300 pound python laying around here. And if I did, whew, boy, he might he might put up a fight. I'd win, obviously, but he'd put up a fight. You guys, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna see what I can do about catching another fishy or two. And uh, you guys go watch some more of my videos and click the little like buttons and all that crap. And uh, help me grow my channel back. Cause uh, I tell you, it ain't no fun just having a tiny little channel. It's hard to get motivated for anything. It's like, I don't want my big channel back. Uh -huh. You like it when I whine? All right. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm gonna go kill some shit.